Dr. Vicki Peterson here. Today a reader writes in that uh, she lives in an area where there's a lot of allergy symptoms at the moment. She has celiac and she's been off gluten for several years, but she's having not only allergy symptoms, but almost celiac type symptoms. She said she's doubled, doubled over, she has a lot of abdominal pain, she's having trouble eating. And her question was, can allergies of an environmental nature cause celiac to occur? This is how I would handle this patient if uh, she were in my office. The first thing to understand about allergies is that um, when your adrenal glands are functioning optimally, they make natural antihistamines. So when the body's having a histamine response uh, as a result of allergy season, the adrenal glands, if they're functioning optimally, will make adequate amounts of antihistamine and you'll be the type of person who doesn't have allergies because your body is responding correctly and thereby you would have no symptoms. So if the body is not able to make natural antihistamines, meaning the adrenal glands are under stress, then what you have is not only inadequate antihistamines from the adrenal glands, but the adrenal glands also make natural anti-inflammatories. And that's very key for the small intestine, especially with someone who's a celiac because the small intestine has had a lot of irritation to it over the years, pretty much lifelong. And this person, she mentioned at least 13 years uh, when she first started having digestive complaints. So. What we want to look at here is a couple of things. Number one, we'd want to restore um, adrenal function. That's a completely natural program. We've talked about the adrenal a uh, bit in the past. Uh, there's a functional lab test you can do to assess adrenal function. The support for the adrenals are uh, very good B vitamins, sometimes licorice or ginseng. Depends on the program and, and the severity of the adrenal fatigue. But it's a natural program. Lifestyle management comes into play, making sure you're getting adequate rest, you're having meals regularly, your meals are nice and balanced with some protein, complex carbohydrates, good fat, you're exercising, you're getting enough water. So some basic dietary control makes a big difference for adrenal function. But the fact that because it's allergy season and there's some inflammation coming her way and it's really triggering such a strong uh, small intestinal response for her, it makes me very suspicious that she has not really healed her small intestine as a result of staying off the gluten. Meaning, either uh, a couple of things can occur, she has some more foods she's reacting to, gluten is still sneaking in unbeknownst to her, or very commonly she has some secondary infections occurring, which we've also spoken about in the past, things like parasites, amoebas, bacteria, that you can do a stool analysis and find out if these are occurring because these organisms, A, come about because the immune system of the small intestine is depressed as a celiac. So these organisms that are a normal component of our diet now get a foothold because the immune system doesn't kill them off the way it should. And then they are, because of their presence, your small intestine does not heal the way it should. And so any little stressor can flare it up again. So that's what I would be extremely suspicious of in uh, this particular person's case. And I, I hope that's helpful. So until next time, I wish you very good health, and we'll talk to you soon.